Hi, this is Nathan from Teach the Table, and this is how you play Quirkle. Each player is going to have six tiles that they keep secret from all the other players, and they indicate different shapes and colors. Players are going to be trying to make lines of different tiles that are all the same shape or all the same color. You can never place an identical tile in the same line. They all have to be different. So each line can be a maximum of six tiles, since there are six different shapes and there are six different colors. The starting player will be the player who has the most tiles of the same attribute. So let's consider that I had three of the reds and no one else had more than that. So I would start placing them there and I'm gonna get one point for each tile. After placing tiles, you're gonna draw up so you always have six tiles in your hand at the end. Play is gonna continue clockwise around the table where each player is trying to add tiles to complete rows. You can play them on either side. So you can play them like that, or you could play them like that, or you could do some on each side. And again, you just get one point for each tile in that row. If you place a tile that fits into two rows, you get points both ways. So this tile would be worth two and two, so four points total. Instead of adding tiles to the grid, you can also optionally decide that you wanna get rid of any number of tiles. So you place those to the side, draw tiles to replenish them, and these ones would go back into the bag that would end your turn. So you cannot place on the grid and exchange, you would just exchange instead of placing on the grid. If you don't have any tiles that fit into the grid, you can't just pass, you have to exchange tiles to the bag to try to get some different ones. If you complete a row of all six tiles like so, that's called a quirk roll. So you would get six points for that, as well as a bonus of six points for completing that line. Towards the end of the game, your bag of tiles is gonna slowly run out. Once it's completely gone, play is gonna continue around the table like normal, but if you don't have any tiles that fit into the grid, you can just pass at that point since there's no more exchanges that can happen. Play will just continue, and the first player to use their very last tile is gonna get a bonus of six additional points for ending the game. Player with the most points at the end of the game is the winner. And that's how you play Quirkle. It's a fun little puzzly game for almost any ages except for small little kids. And it's won lots of different awards. Thanks for watching Teach the Table. I'll see you next time and don't forget to have fun.